Hello everyone, welcome to my video clip. Today I want to discuss this question, January 2012, C4, question 8. Uh, in particular, I want to discuss part B and C. Most of you will be able to get this answer for part B. Okay, but you won't be able to get the final answer or you miss out on the final answer. If you want to use the final answer, the exponential has a negative power. Whereas this one over here, that's a positive power. That means you have to change it. So how to change it to a negative power? Simple. Just multiply by the negative power times e to the power negative one third t. So the same thing you do for the denominator. Every term multiply by this. Now, if you simplify, you will notice that the top there, when you multiply two exponential functions with one with positive power and negative one, you get e to the power zero, which is one. So one times five will give you five. The bottom one, you have this term remaining, and you have also one on the side. All right. So this is very crucial. That is the reason why they want you to get in this form. If once you get you can get in this form, then you can get the answer for part C. Alright? Or you may not also for some of you if you don't see it, you won't be able to get it. But let's proceed from there. Once we finish B, we are gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to how to get C. Now remember your T is greater than zero. Alright? So T is a positive value. So we can say that uh, since T approaches infinity e to the power of negative one third t approaches zero okay so you can say that t approaches five but never reach five okay but a better way to do would be three approaches five therefore p approaches five okay therefore p is less than but this is not really a good way to do. A better way would be this. You will notice that uh, exponential function, whether it's negative power or positive power, is always greater than zero. Correct or not? Because the graph is above the x-axis. And if you multiply by 4, no difference. It will still be greater than zero. What happens if you add 1 to it? plus 1 to it. It will be greater than 1. What happens if you invert it? That means 1 over this. Then the sign will change. Alright? For example, 2 is greater than 1. Half is smaller than 1. Alright? So if you multiply by 5, then we get our expression, our P is 5 times 5 so the right side also you multiply by 5 ah uh, this is good enough to show really. normally we don't have to show you so much detail you must be able to see you know. for one mark you just want to know cannot exceed what value so we just put p less than 5 eh, without showing working. Eh. Just this only, eh, you get full marks already for part c. Alright, but this is just to explain to you why why you end up with p less than 5. So in this case, the population will be less than. Population cannot exceed. Answer accordingly, 5,000. Because P is measured in terms of 1,000. So 5 here means 5,000. Alright, so when you do questions like this, you've got to be careful of the unit, what they mean by P, what they mean by T. In this case, T is time in years. P is, that you can see here, P is in thousands. So every time you do this question, questions like this, mark out this one, underline this one. T is measured in years. Uh, once you mark out this one, then you know what to do, what to expect. Okay, that's all for today.
Thank you for watching. Bye.